Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Ram point 25, which I have totally not messed up my audio settings this time like I did last time. This is a plane that I made for no apparent reason. It is completely untested. I lied, because I kind of actually already flew it once with the music as I turned off the volume. Hold on. This is the plane. Wow, it's, it's so quiet. I fixed the volume levels. Yeah, because I had them way too loud last time. But anyhow, I... I actually already tested this plane just with the wheels in the rear in a worse position to where it couldn't take off properly. But now it can, using the magic of Kerbal engineering. It also has a cargo bay for some reason, but this plane isn't really well designed because this plane just, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not. It can go fast, and it can go fast well, but that's all it can do. Also, there's this new cockpit, which I didn't mention in that video, which I did with the things about the thing. Oh well. Really what I want to check out is something completely different. In case you hadn't seen it, this is the new stock plane that was added with point .25, which is really, really cool looking. It's got, you know, this, the, I've forward swept wings, it's got engines on the back, it's a space plane thing, it's got crew, it's even got a cargo bay, which actually has some really interesting stuff in it, because the cargo bay is actually more seats. Six seats, some science equipment, some batteries, and and I think there was uh, something else. Oh yes, then there's these, which got me wondering, why the heck are there powerful downward-facing engines in the cargo bay? That's really strange. Then I realized we had those same powerful downward-facing engines on the rear of the plane, and it made me wonder, can this thing VTOL? And it turns out, yes, yes it can. This craft can VTOL, which is freaking amazing. And did that work that time? No, not elevons. I want to check these. Disable. Thank you. There's a button that disables all of them all at once. The only downside, of course, to this design is that there went a third of our oxidizer for getting into orbit, because like I said, this is a space plane. Also, you might be wondering, where are the rocket engines on this so-called space plane? Well, they're actually behind these engines, behind a decoupler. This is actually a two-stage space plane, which is freaking amazing because basically you have drop tanks these fuel tanks on the side here are drop tanks hold on let me roll over there you go so you can see it better these are drop tanks and it's we're going down now that's that's not the way to space but yes those are drop tanks directly attached to the engines at the rear and then those engines can be decoupled along with the drop tanks and the intakes actually and then you can go to space so i'm gonna do that now I don't believe I'll actually get to space this way, of course, but, you know, I'm gonna space. I'm also, like, crooked slightly, I believe. Ah, yes, entry effects while leaving. I also just noticed that there is a ladder to get into the door, which is useful considering the fact that otherwise you wouldn't be able to. I, uh, wasn't aggressive enough with my getting up to speed, it looks like. Which is rather unfortunate. Why is it turning? Why is it turning? Stop turning. Oh, I think I'm about to lose these engines. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and fire to the next stage. And now we're losing velocity, but we have better engines to fire. And I don't think we're going to make it to orbit, as I already said, but, you know, screw it. I'm, I'm jetting. Well, now I'm rocketing, but, you know, I was jetting. And we're also tilting to the right again. This plane is amazing. In theory, at least. I don't know if you can actually fly it properly. I haven't. This is the first time I've tried to fly it properly. As you can see, that went really well. By the fact that I'm now in space, I said lying. And I think I've... Yep, I've lost all power. So now we can just coast. But it does have solar panels that we can break off. Or not break off, because apparently going this fast, this high in the atmosphere, isn't powerful enough to break them. This gives me a terrible idea. You know what that terrible idea is? It's, it's, well, let's put it this way. It's a really, really terrible idea. 
Oh, guess I'm going to have to let go. No, wait, not grab. Uh, let go, RCS. Um, go down, go up, up. Okay, up. Can I? Damn it. I can't see the. No, go up. Can I? Right click. Board, board. Yes, yes. That shouldn't have worked. Reality doesn't work that way in Kerbal Space Ram, though, so it's all good. Brilliant. I guess I should go ahead and dump the RCS, because um, anything that's weighing us down will will cause problems, inevitably. Is there a light in here? There should be a light in here. There really, there really should be. Can I turn his lights on? I can have him do an EVA report while he's in the seat. That's neat. Yeah, but there's there's no batteries in here. I guess I'll have to open the... Whoops. Open the bay again. Get some light in there. Not that that'll do us much good. Also, we're kind of falling like a rock now. Yeah, I'm gonna close that bay again. Maybe he'll survive this crash. Maybe. I don't think so, but he might. Ooh, re-entry effects. From the cockpit, I can see that I accidentally pulled out the guy on the left when I was trying to pull out the Kerbal on the right. You also can just barely see the planet peeking into view for a minute or two. For a second or two, I mean. And then it disappears again. I don't think we're gonna make land. That's okay. We came here to crash. Yeah, there's, if there's one thing I see that's immediately wrong with this plane design, it's that it has a massively high amount of monopropellant that it absolutely does not need. I'm going to make my own like minimalistic version of this plane, I think. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on science or something like that. Oh, hey, we can turn on the lights. Forgot about that. Yeah. The cr mm, excuse me. The crew cabin and this crew capsule both have lights. Oh, that's the, car that's the cargo bay. There's the crew cabin. Yeah, it's really interesting though this design for this plane because it's like crew crew cabin uh crew capsule. What is this actually called? A cockpit. Oh yeah, duh. Then there's the um cargo bay, and then there's a crew cabin, and then this tiny little thing is all the fuel, basically, which is crazy. I mean, for a Kerbal, it's for a Kerbal Swiss Ram, it's crazy to have that much of the plane be crew and cargo, and only this tiny bit at the back actually be your fuel. Of course, in real life, that there is more cargo, like cargo space, than fuel in plane type vehicle things. But you know, it's too bad we don't have any fuel left for the uh, VTOL because then we could land safely. But uh, we don't have that. Uh, I don't think there's any way we're pulling up out of this dive either. Like I just, I just don't see it happening because it's just not pulling up enough. But hey, one of them might survive. Probably not, but you know, one of them might survive. Oh, oh, oh. Intakes have survived. I think. I think these are intakes. No, wait. This is a piece of a solar panel. <laughs> ah, the solar panel survived. That's great. Alright. These should be disabled. Yes, they are. Good. Alright, we're going to try a typical runway takeoff this time. Ooh, without scraping the back on the ground, because that would be bad. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly out to sea just a little bit. And then we're going to ditch the... Well, actually, we're going to fly primarily up, but, you know, also out of it. And we're going to ditch the engines, burn all of our rocket fuel, and then try to coast it in for a landing to see if that's possible. Because this, this plane just does not feel like it's possible to coast to a landing. But then again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can, but we'll see. We'll see. So I think this is high enough, I think, to switch to rockets. And then, um, what I want to do is I want to turn around, really. Let's see how terribly we can turn. Hmm, that terribly, eh? We're going to try and do like a semi-sideways, semi-upside-down loop to come back around. Let's go ahead and add the RCS into the turning. See, because this thing does not like to turn. That's what I've noticed. This thing, it likes to go down. It likes to go straight down. It really does. See, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm powered, and I don't even know if I can pull out of this dive. Like, I'm going to just straight up try to pull out of this dive. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Let's try that again. Ooh, that was a pretty picture for a moment while it loaded. Had to figure out how to actually load this thing properly. Alright, this time let's try a more traditional turning around instead of um, what we did that time. And let's also turn around before we dump all the rocket fuel. 
Remember, the whole point of this is to simulate an unpowered re-entry. Why am I in orbit mode? There we go. Surface velocity. I love this design though. Like, even for just a plane, like, I think I would... Myself, I think I might just, like, edit this design to remove the VTOL stuff, basically, and make it into a plane. Because this looks like it'd be fun to fly around just a little bit. You know, like a modified version, of course. I don't know why we're slightly off course, but actually I'm going to make us go more off course this way. And I'm going to turn around going the other way. Let's also get higher. Alright, and <laughs> not down, not down, not down! Whew. That was terrible for a moment. Okay, not up either. Let's go that way. We want to go that way. Okay, the plane turns right, the uh, velocity vector does not. That's actually, that's pretty funny actually to have it do that. Woo. Yeah, it does not like it when you ditch those engines. Okay, let's pull back up now. Let's pull back up. Let's pull back up? At all? Um, right. Even under power, this thing doesn't want to pull back up. Yeah, that's, that's not good. That's not a good property of a plane to have it not want to pull up. I wonder if it's because these, these are locked to just pitch. These are locked to yaw and pitch. And these are locked to just roll. I'm going to put them available for pitch too. Is that only on one side that I'm activating them? <laughs> Hold on. Pitch, 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 pitch. Ah. My mouse is currently uh, doing that glitch that happens in 64-bit KSP where your right click screws up your mouse. And, uh, yeah. Um, we're dive bombing the ocean, it looks like. Well, then, guess it was nice knowing ya. Goodbye, cruel world. Yeah, so... I want to make a plane like that one, because that plane is awesome, even though it kind of has some terrible properties. Thanks for watching, as always. See you in the space plane hangar. Or, or space. You know, if I ever get there.